Hey everybody, this is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars, where safety is always the number one priority. Hey, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about a machine that I built. And uh, this video was requested by Keith Moorhead at Asylum Amplification and, sorry, ATD Guitar Repair in St. Charles, Missouri. And... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it's Missouri or Missouri. I'm not sure where he is in there, but uh, check out Keith and um, tell him you heard about him on Texas Toast Guitars. So anyway, um, I posted a picture the other day about this tool and it is a binding jig cutting uh, tool that uh, I forget where the original plans came from, but I reverse engineered it and it's, it's really the neatest uh, three axis router that you can build if you only have Home Depot as a part supply source. Anyway, so I built it as a way to cut binding channels on carved top guitars um, so that, and I needed something that would ride along the top and uh, instead of along the bottom like my beloved pin router does. So uh, it's really great for carved tops. You could also use this for uh, acoustic guitars. Um, something that is just the back is not exactly perfectly parallel to the top. So anyway, what it is, is it's um, a small Home Depot rigid laminate trimmer router that I have the binding cutter bit installed in and the machine moves uh, 360 degrees around this axis. It can move out. Uh, as much as these particular drawer slides will allow it, and it will move up and down uh, on these little kind of hinge things that I built. But the most important bit is right here, and you should be looking at the picture of this right now. Um, there's like a donut here that I, I machined, uh, and I actually did this on a drill press, and I used acetone to glue this donut onto this piece here. Uh, if any of you were asleep in biology like I was, the reason that that works is something called capillary action. Look it up. Anyway, so what happens is the uh, you bolt your guitar body down uh, and you move the, the router jig around it. And, you know, pretty much voila. So it'll ride over the contour of the uh, a carved top It'll work just as well on a flat top. And if you don't have a, a jet pin router like I do, this is a really great way to do it. I think including the, the, uh, the laminate trimmer and the uh, bearing and bit setup, you could probably build one of these for under $200 in your own home shop. Um, okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you liked what you saw, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the videos. Uh, we've got more coming every week. So, this is Matt with Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do.